Hello guys, welcome back. There are many open source LLMs being released every day. So I was not going to create more videos into it, but one of my subscriber asked to create a video about this cloud age 100k context windows model. So in this video, I will go through this particular topic. There is no code involved in this, but I will show you what this model is and what is this capable of doing. And also I will show you from where you can assess this particular model as well as I will show you this diagram to show what it is going to affect. Like till now we were using the documents, we are chunking that into different parts and then loading into the vector store and all the different things, right? So how that is going to change in the future and also what happens to the vector stores, right? Because as you can see here, we have a news about announcing our 100 million series B funding from Pinecone. And there is also the new news about this Chroma is scoring 18 million dollar for their seed funding. And also there is this Web8 raises 50 million series B fundings from some other companies, right? So what happens to these vector stores? Are they going to die? Because now we can have long context directly being applied to the large language model. Let's go through this in this video. On March 14, 2023, Anthropic said that introducing Cloudy. So this is the new model, right? So after working for the past few months with key partners like Notion, Cora, and DocDocGo, in a closed alpha, we have been able to create and test our system in the wild and are ready to offer Cloudy more broadly. So they actually created a new model, right? So this is the next generation AI assistant based on Anthropic's research into training helpful honest and harmless ai systems i will provide the link you can go through this and see what is cloud a and how you can use it right and then what happens next is may 11 2023 they said that introducing 100k context windows here they said we have expanded cloud edge context window from 9k to 100k tokens so what does that mean that is equals to 75,000 words. You can imagine how big that is. And what does that mean? Here, this means that businesses can now submit hundreds of pages of materials into or for Cloud A to digest and analyze and conversations with Cloud A can go on for hours or even days, right? So what does that mean? And also they said that it took like 22 seconds here. When we asked the model to spot what was the different, it responded with the correct answer in 22 seconds. So that means that it needs kind of some latency to answer. So that is also one point that they have mentioned. I will explain this a little bit later. What does this mean? But yeah, this is kind of good and how, what we can use this for. Cloud A acts as a business analyst. You can go through this link by analyzing an 85 page form 10k corporate filings that is the example and the next one what i find it interesting is cloud a acts as a code companion so as you can see here they have provided a link what is langchain it says i don't know what is langchain and then when they provide whole documentation 240 pages and asked can you create langchain uses anthropics language model and then it provides here is the demo of langchain using anthropics language model so that is that powerful that you can feed whole document into it and then it provides information to you. So let's go and see some of the existing ones and why is this a need, right? So if you go here, this is the website from Mojik ML. So what they have also actually been created different models. I will provide the link also. As you can see here, there are different models that they have been provided. Introducing MPT7B, a new standard for open source commercially usable large language models. And what are some of the models that we have now here? I will just go through this diagram here. So you can see that the red ones are the open source model and the green ones are the not open source. And not open source is of course OpenAI's model, right? So GPT-4, GPT-4-32K, meaning that they have two different models that are different context windows. And there are different other models being created. And this MPT-7B story writer can accept 65,000 context window, right? This was already there existing. You can go through this link. And now we have this cloud A which can accept 100K tokens. And what does this mean? Now let's go and see with a clear 
diagram but before going through the diagram i will show you how you can play around with this anthropic model right anthropics cloud a model right so there is this documentation provided from anthropic you can go here and see getting started with cloud a they have provided good documentation here you can go through this and you need to be in the waiting list so i want to try this actually in a code but then i need to be in a waiting list i applied now the api key because i don't have api key so that i cannot test the model right now and then but, but there is a way how you can utilize or use this model so there is the thing called way website where you can actually go and test different models already so there is gpt4 there is cloud a plus there is cloud a instant 100k but if i go here and want to try it says that okay you need to be in a free trial and then you need to pay some money so i didn't go in through this but if you want to test it please go to this website you can actually test with different models already in this particular website there is already an integration with langchain also there is this anthropics and there is the documentation how you can get started with the anthropic chart models okay so now let's go through this diagram so what is this this is what we have been doing i have explained already in many videos but now this is the combined or this is the advanced version of that particular diagram so what happens when we want to have the interaction with the documents right because that is the hot topic right now one is the llm and the next one is how to create the chat bots for documents right we want to go through the documents and then have the conversation with it in the beginning what we do is we have a book right when we have the book we need to extract the pages from the book i'm giving the example of a book here it can be many pages right and then what happens is you extract that particular information and next you go and split that into different chunks right this part here and once you split that into different chunks then you need to pass that to the embeddings api and then you need to you, you can have the different embeddings out of that different chunks now then you build a semantic index and that becomes our knowledge base so that is how we have been going through till now right so what is this cloud is model trying to solve now instead of going through different steps one after the another you can pass the whole book directly this book can go directly into the large language model so you don't need to do the chunking you don't need to do any other different things you can just have the book pass that all into the large language model ask the question and then it is going to provide you the answer so that is what is going to happen okay so now let me provide the summary of this to you right so let me go to this page here so here let me make this little bit big so what we were doing here is first using the document loader to load the document and then chopping the documents into smaller chunks embedding for finding the most similar documents and the LLM for getting the response in the natural language. Then the question arises, what happens to the vector stores? Because vector stores are there so that we can do the semantic sorts. So the large language models can do the things after taking the different chunks or the similar things from the vector store. Right. There is a good tweet from Cameroon in Twitter where he says that some thoughts for those saying that large context windows will be the death of vector databases because yeah massive context windows are cool right we were we, we need to do so many different pieces together now you can just pass that once and then you get the result that is that's good now we are still paying for those extra tokens right how does the cloud is large context token works is with the pricing model of cloud age charges you per token so you are the cheapest model cost around 1.63 dollar per million tokens and when you pass that big chunks into at once you are paying more right so there is a cost thing also associated with it and the next thing is the latency right latency is the huge concern so as you can see here what he is saying here yes we can pass a ton of data into the context window but this does not come for free processing this much data will take a super long time right for for example anthropic use cloud a to ingest the entire the great gatsby book and answer questions and then the model could answer questions accurately but producing response to 22 
seconds. That was what I said you before, right? The level of latency is completely unacceptable for 99 plus percent of practical applications. The vector databases are used for more than just LLMs. We need to be thinking that vector store or vector databases are not just for the LLMs, right? So although language models are the hot topic right now, vector databases have been around for years and are actively used for way more than just the, just the LLMs. If vector database die, what will I use to write a content-based recommendation algorithm, right? And then also should I pass an entire product catalog to the LLM and ask what products are similar to one that I'm looking for? Hopefully my users are good with waiting 22 seconds to see their product recommendations. So that is what I'm saying that it's, it's not only used for the LLMs, right? So that is not the vector database are going to die. As he mentioned here, 99% of the applications doesn't want to wait 22 seconds, right? Is that feasible? No, it's feasible. Let's say that you want to sort something and you ask something and you want to get a recommendation and you need to wait 22 seconds to show you the recommendation of the next product. Is it going to be feasible? You decide. So yeah, this is just what I was going to say. Although there is Cloud A, which has 100k context window, that is really, really great news. But that does not mean that the vector databases are going to die because there are many other applications of vector database also. So yeah, that's all I want to cover in this video. I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.